Greetings, back at it again, episode four of Roses. For those who are just tuning in for the first time, I am a man called Jason, and this is being sponsored by Hashtag Celebrate Life. Hashtag Celebrate Life is all about appreciating life in the people in your life. And the premise of this vlog series is to, um, you know, hand roses to the living as opposed to the dead. A lot of times we go to funerals, we pay our respects and have them, hand them flowers. They can't take it with them, they can't hear us. So I figured, hey, why don't we appreciate the living as well? And so weekly I pick three people at random and um, tend to pick one gal, one guy, and one couple completely at random. As Soon as I hit record, that's when I figure out my three. So I've given myself enough time to talk and think about who my three is going to be this week. And I'm going to start with Anthony Hammett. My second person is going to be Cherise Holloman. And my couple, the Lombardos. That's right, Ron and Rebecca. Okay, let's talk about Anthony for a second. I met Anthony on a wrestling group site in, on Facebook. For those who, who know me pretty well, they know that I I likes my wrestling, okay? That's my escape, you know? I'm an avid WWE fan. Um... I'm telling you, you just never know. Like when I go home and watch TV, it's either wrestling or sports. I mean, some type of football or basketball game. Football, basketball, wrestling. That's it for me right here. So, oh, and WrestleMania is coming up. Ooh. Anyway, I'm I'm getting sidetracked. Anthony, I met him on. <laughs> I met him on the wrestling group site on Facebook and what's funny is I, when I first joined the site I think CJ um, was the one who uh, referred me to this group shout out to CJ um, again because I gave him a shout out in episode 3 right anyway CJ he um, invited me to the group and I just watched the group for like a year before I said anything and then you know I finally got got in the mix and Anthony, he's one of the uh, the um, admins on there and you know, a whole bunch of the guys, you know, they embraced me, man. It was real cool. It's a real cool community, man. Um, but Anthony, real cool guy. We had a lot in common as far as our thinking process and our and, and wrestlers that we loved. Um, and so, you know, I befriended him on Facebook outside of the group. And, He's just a very cool individual, man. Very witty. He's very witty. Um, very thought-provoking. And I can see he cares about people. Even when he thinks that some people may not care about him. I, I don't know. Because I don't know him that, that well. But um, my read on him is that he's a very, very... Uh, caring individual um very smart very intelligent and um he's a real good guy man and i'm glad that we crossed paths so shout out to anthony hell on wheels <laughs> that's his wrestling moniker <laughs> um who's up next sharice sharice oh I met sharice many moons ago uh, we're not going to give that away because we ain't trying to give away our age or anything like that. But Sharice, man, I, I met her at church when I was in Tulsa. And she's she's one of the coolest people I have, I've ever met, man. Like, from the jump, before she was even married, I think that's... I met her before she was married, right? Yeah, I did. We was in a college ministry together and, and the whole nine, but just... She's been the same person day in and day out. Um, 
Now, I know I don't really see her posting on uh, Facebook as much, but um, she pop up when them Spurs play because she's a Spurs fan. Yes, it took me some years to finally come along and come around to the Spurs, but I'm a Spurs fan. So shout out to my Spurs fans out there. Um, but she's very, very selfless. That's one of the major things. One thing I'll never forget, well, she's done a lot of amazing things, not just for me, but for my family. But one thing I will never forget is uh, my wife was following this young girl who, who was diagnosed with cancer. And she, you know, grew attached to not just the young lady, but the story, the whole nine. And unfortunately, you know, the young, the young girl passed away um, from cancer. And my wife really wanted to attend the funeral, but the funeral was way out there. I think it was in Texas or something like that. And we we're, we're on the East Coast. And so Sharice, out of the blue, man, was like, you know what? I'm going to go on your behalf and I'm going to get a program and I'm going to mail it to you. And I was like, wow. Wow. Like, there's a lot of little things that I'll never forget, man. That's that's. That's one of those things. Like if you, if you bless my wife or any of my family members, man, you bless me. Um, she's blessed me personally with her kindness and just this, her generosity. Um, and I'm happy for her and her family. Um, but yeah, I just want to appreciate Sharice. Reese. Yes. All right. And so last but not least, the Lombardos, Ron and Rebecca. When I first moved back to Richmond and I uh, was looking for a church home and we finally settled on our church home, House of Prayer, shout out to House of Prayer. Um, Ron and Rebecca, I think we came at to the church around the same time. And so it was new for us together. You know what I mean? And um, it was just cool really connecting with Ron. Um, I connected with Ron first um, and you know he's he's wise among his years because first and foremost he's a North Carolina Tar Heels fan which we're in the final four baby we're gonna see this weekend if we can pull it off and get this uh, championship that was robbed of us last year but anyway um, he, he loves the Tar Heels he hates Duke um, very wise. I don't understand. I, mean, I understand he's a Steelers fan because he's from Pittsburgh, but you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but outside of sports, man, he's just a real, genuine, authentic person, man. And just like you, you can tell when some people kind of casually care, but. You know, those individuals that really care every time they see you, like, how are you really doing, man? Like, how are you? We should really hang out. Um, we should just, you know, kick it. And I'm glad to be in a small group um, with other couples, you know. And so I, I, I think that's just it, it really helps bring um, relationships and, um, and stuff into play when you have small groups and we've been in so many small groups together man um but but ron and rebecca rebecca oh my goodness she is amazing um first of all she's one of the most organized people that i know um and i I, I, she, she's, you know, she's, I think is she in Australia. I think it's Australia. I don't, I'm not editing this, this, so I don't know if I'm saying it's right. I believe it's Australia. That's my final answer. Mm. Um, she was in Australia. Then she came over to Pittsburgh. They met Ron and Becca met. They had two beautiful boys. Um, they're just awesome people man awesome we live close to each other so hopefully this summer i can start bugging them <laughs> but um i'm just really glad that we've crossed paths in life and 
I'm looking forward to seeing our relationship grow even more. You the homies. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Uh, episode four is, is a wrap. And uh, if you're not doing it, appreciate the people that are still living. All right. Hope this is an inspiration for y'all to go out there and start appreciating folks. I see y'all next week. Roses. Thank you.